It has now been a week of frantic digging at that deadly mudslide north of Seattle. 17 people are now confirmed dead, 90 others are missing, and today all of them were remembered. John Blackstone is in Darrington, Washington tonight. Be with us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. At 10.37 this morning, exactly a week after the landslide, Washington State paused to remember. Nowhere did the moment of silence mean more than in Darrington, the nearest town to Oso, the community wiped away by the slide. One week ago today, our community changed forever. Dan Rankin is mayor of Darrington. The reminder is always there, and that scar on the mountain will never heal, nor will the scar in our hearts ever heal. Searchers at the impact zone briefly stopped their work in honor of those lost beneath the mud. For searchers, the steady rain is just one challenge. National Guard units are working in water up to their waists. At the end of the day, searchers must be decontaminated because toxic chemicals are part of the mix, along with uprooted trees and wrecked houses. You just have to walk very slowly, very carefully. I think you've probably heard that some of it's being described as similar to quicksand. It's yeah. just you've got to be very careful where you step. Search dogs, often doing their job deep in mud, have proven essential here. Steve Harris is Incident Command Supervisor. The big tool are dogs, and, and keeping those dogs healthy and safe uh, with the mud out there is a real problem because the dogs are getting hypothermic, and the mud takes away their natural insulating ability, so we're real careful to give them, give them rest. At the rodeo grounds in Darrington, volunteers caring for animals displaced by the landslide paused for the moment of silence, even if the animals did not. Volunteer Kelsey Nickerson came to care for the horses. I think it's really cool how the community is coming together. One week after the landslide, the community is also beginning to understand the enormous task that lies ahead. A relative of one of those lost in the landslide was told the search for bodies could go on for four months. Jim? John Blackstone amid the heartbreak of Washington State. Thank you, John.